Hi guys, I was getting ready to make a coleslaw, my hands are wet, and I uh, thought I'd go ahead and get it out here and show y'all what I do. Uh, we had uh, pulled pork for supper last night and I made a big old tater salad and it's all gone. We got plenty of pulled pork left. We're going to eat on it today, pulled pork sandwiches, but you need a little something else with it and I thought I'd make a small coleslaw and uh, show you how I do it. What you're going to need is cabbage. It's done washed. It's full of water. You're going to need a bowl to put it in. Salt. Black pepper. Mayonnaise. Uh, a tomato. And a good knife to do your cutting with. And a bowl to put it in. I think I got everything here. And I'll show you how I make mine. And uh, Yes, it's a very, very simple coleslaw, but I love the taste of that. Get that mayonnaise in there, got a little bit of a twang to it, and then the acid from them tomatoes just makes it purely delicious. Talk about it's making my mouth water. Uh, a lot of people like uh, vinegar, a lot of people like sugar. Uh, I don't, there's too much twang in the vinegar for me. I, I don't like the sweet coleslaw. Now, my husband does, but I don't. And uh, he's not going to be eating this, so I'm making it to suit me. And I just cut it real thin. I got the completely wrong knife. I'm going to grab me a good knife here. Lord, if I can get to it. Well, that was pretty easy. Right on top. So. The adjective pretty is usually defined as pleasing or attractive to the eye, as by delicacy or gracefulness. The noun pretty is usually defined as pretty or And I'll show you how I'm Etc. The adverb pretty is usually defined as I'm fair or modern. real thin. And Alexa just went off all by herself over her talking. Nobody has spoke to her. Well, must that wasn't so. She picked on me saying, picked up on me saying something about pretty and just had a whole conversation over about it. That's not hardly enough, but you see what I'm doing. I want, let me show you. And the, the thinner, the better, you know. Uh, and I'll come back when I get enough cut up. Thank you. Okay, I've got what I needed, what I think I'll need cut up. I just need a little small one, a little piece of dry cabbage in there. Anthony, turn down some. Thank you. My grandson watching his whatever. I'm just going across to chair, guys. That's good enough. It's more than you think when you get it. See here? Good thing about a I main coleslaw is you can make enough to feed a battleship crew or you can make enough to feed one. That's one of the things that I do love about this particular food. All right, let me start slicing my tomato. Uh -oh, I think my knife's needing a little bit sharpened. It's been in the refrigerator, so I'm gonna cut that edge up. Get rid of that. I have a lot of people ask me about the knives. Why I use me knives? Um, I've got them rotted knives. My husband bought me almost every one of them for my birthday. I think it was last year. And uh, he got me the one for tomatoes. He got me the one for cheese. He got me the the, the only one that I bought myself was the uh, I don't know where it's at butcher knife one. Now, I bought it because they were out of them, so he didn't get to give me one of them. And the paring knives, he bought me all of that. And uh, 
they're just so handy. And like the tomato knife is real fragile. You don't want to use it for something else. The cheese knife, same way. Uh, there's different ones for like meats and just whatever. And they're just really handy dandy at doing their job. And now on my tomato, I kind of look at how deep I cut it. Because I don't need a lot for this slough because there's not going to be but a couple of folks eat it and I don't need a bunch and I'm only going to cut what I feel like I need let me get my salt in here to get get it gets this to pulling out its uh, moisture get it to doing its job here. It'll pull the moisture right out of that cabbage and get it to wilting down and don't want too much salt. I'll run it and have to rinse it out and start over. But you can rinse it out and start over. It's not a disaster. So let me get some mayonnaise in there. I'm trying to use up the last of this jar. dollop right there which is about three or four tablespoons might be enough but I'm going to empty this jar into it because I know that it won't be too much in it might not be enough may have to find another jar and open it but I believe it might be enough we'll find out here in a minute and I want this in there with the salt And I'm sure every single one of you knows how to make a coleslaw. You can use coleslaw mix, if I've got one, I use it. If I don't, I don't. I don't worry about it. If I've got cabbage, I won't buy a coleslaw mix. I won't use one. I'll, I'll use my cabbage. Because now the carrots and whatever else happens to be diced up in it, it don't matter. I can't taste them anyway whenever I get all my stuff in it. All right, this is really... Mixing well. Want it a little bit of that on everything. The cabbage is already starting to really shrink down and wilt. I mean that fast. It don't take salt in no time to that big old stiff piece. Let's get that out of there. Don't take salt in no time to get cabbage to do what it wants it to do. Look at that. Alright, now let's get our, well, tomato cut across this way. And I, I like it cut diced, kind of fine, and uh, I like a real juicy tomato for my coleslaw. Some people put celery seed and stuff in them. Um, I just love a real simple, simple coleslaw better than anything. And I've got my tomatoes down in there. Mm, need some more tomato. Cutting this tomato up. I like a lot of tomato in it actually.
No. I put that whole, it was a little over half of a tomato in there. And now don't knock it till you try, because you just don't know. <laughs> Now let's get a little pepper in there. Don't want a lot of pepper. We want some though. That was about what I got you can see it. I'm gonna taste it and see if it's got enough mayonnaise. I know it's got enough tomato. Rinse my hand off again. I tried to get that for the whole dish drainer is liable to fall apart. Now let me try about and see what we got here. Need more salt. That was a perfect amount of uh, mayonnaise up, just right. About all the forks, uh, there's one more over there, or in the dish dryer. Let's try us another bite and see where we're at on this. Piece of tomato didn't cut up good enough. All right, let's see. It's good. Mm. As simple as can be. <clears throat> and delicious as can be. Now. Yeah. I'll make a plate. We'll be back in just a minute. Thank you. Okay, guys. What I do is I get me my bottom bun. I put me some, I hate me some barbecue because it was made last night. I put me a piece of cheese on there and then I put me some more barbecue. And uh, let me sock this in the microwave right quick for about, oh, I'd say 10 seconds. And then we count off about 10 seconds. And that should be just right with what's already happening with the because uh, I didn't have this like scaled in hot I just had it hot and it's just beginning to melt the cheese you can see it there and then I like mustard on mine I don't always put mustard on it but I, uh, I love it when I do and cap my top on her. Sometimes I toast my bread. Mm, yummy. Now let me get me out some of my coleslaw I made. I should have got me a regular plate. I don't know why I got that. I hate to eat on them. I keep them for the kids. The They're not mine. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was getting yellow. Excuse me. Excuse me. You are excused. <laughs> Can't mess with them youngins, food. Yeah. Give me a few little potato chips. 
And that, my friends, is how to make, take leftovers and make a magnificent little dinner. Let me cut my sandwich. If I got anything to cut it with here. And I'll show you. That cheese is melted good now. I don't want to cut through the bottom of it. Through the bottom of the plate is what I mean. All righty. And here is our coleslaw. And it's a simple little coleslaw. Like I said, don't knock it till you try it. And some chips and leftover pulled pork. And that is a wonderful little dinner. That's a pretty doggone good looking little supper. It might be what I have again. And I want to thank y'all for watching me and supporting me every which way in the world. I appreciate it more than you know. And uh, until next time, thank you.